the certified most accurate forecast. Well, we were able to capture a little bit of the late day setting sun there on the western horizon. And notice as the sun sets, skies are beginning to clear out across the area for what should be a very nice evening. Unseasonably mild. Check it out now 53 degrees currently at the airport. We've got a southwesterly breeze at 7. And despite the fact that skies are clearing up tonight, you know, typically when skies clear this time of the year, temperatures fall like a rock. That's not going to happen this evening, though, because we've got a light southwesterly component to the wind, and that's a mild direction for us, and that means temperatures this evening, despite the fact skies are clearing, well, you'll only need a light jacket or sweater if you're heading out. Matter of fact, 51 at 7 o'clock, and we'll slowly slip our way down through the 40s as we go through the latter part of the evening hours. Check out radar tonight. It's all quiet. You know, we did have the threat for a few passing showers throughout the day, but the air was just too dry. So as this little weak storm system pushed through, I mentioned yesterday I would be surprised if many of you saw rain, and certainly you shouldn't be surprised if you don't see anything at all altogether. So that's pushing out of here now, and that's why skies are clearing. Our focus and attention is now beginning to shift out to our west. While you do see additional cloud cover rolling in, this warm front, though, is going to be the next big player in our forecast. And this is what's going to open the door for record setting warmth, sending temperatures close to 70 degrees this upcoming weekend for us here. So right now it's 53 in Cincinnati, 51 in Indianapolis. They hit 60 today in Louisville. But look what's to the west of this warm front. Remember, it's draped from about Des Moines down towards Memphis. And look at this, 64 in Memphis, 70 in Little Rock. This air will be arriving in our neck of the woods in time for the weekend. Here's a look at futurecast. Quiet through the rest of the night tonight. Now, as skies clear, I do think overnight tonight and towards morning tomorrow, we'll begin to see some low clouds or maybe even some areas of patchy fog trying to develop. So, depending upon your location tomorrow morning, some of you will wake up to sun, others of you will wake up to some clouds and maybe some fog to start out. I do think that kind of overspreads the area, so mostly cloudy to start in general tomorrow. But after lunchtime, we break out into more sunshine and then it looks fairly nice. Thursday night, and then as we get into Friday, more clouds will increase as that warm front begins to approach. And there's a small shower threat on there on Friday as the warm air begins to arrive. But the big story this weekend is not the rain, but the record setting warmth that's on the way. So 42 for a low tonight, partly cloudy. Again, a mild night. We should be in the upper 20s for this time of the year, so a far stretch from that. And then tomorrow, how about this, pushing 60 tomorrow afternoon when we should only be in the mid-40s, a mixture of sun and clouds. It'll be a breezy and mild day. Here's a look at your day planner. 44 at 8 a.m. By lunchtime, you're already up to the low 50s and then into the middle 50s as we get into the afternoon hours. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. Again, that passing shower threat for Friday is kind of like what it was today. Not a big deal, and many of you won't see anything. Get this though Saturday, 68. Mike and Sheree, check out Sunday. That's the day of the Bengals and Steelers game. Almost 70 degrees likely on Sunday. And right now, it is looking more than certain that that rain will hold off to late Sunday night. So, tailgaters will. We'll have a terrific Sunday before wet weather welcomes in the new start of the week. All right, Kevin, listen. We